Welcome back to Breakfast Television, and we welcome back to the program from the Calgary Wildlife Rehabilitation Society, Jenna, who's going to tell us about the baby rabbits. If you see a hair, leave it there. We hear this message yep. every year, but it's worth a repeat um, because, you know, you can see these baby animals and really want to try to rescue them. Yeah. Why should we not? Well, absolutely. I think when we think of mammals, we think about ourselves and how we nurture our babies and hares and especially prey animals like deer and animals that are always running away from predators. They have a different strategy to taking care of their young in that they don't really take care of them much at all. So mom will come back to nurse her babies a couple times a day, but the rest of the time she'll leave her little bunnies on the ground. Right. So, it, I mean, it is human instinct to want to yes. see baby animals and pick them up. Oh, absolutely. And they're so small. And especially when we have weather like this, people think, oh, no, it's so cold outside. There's still snow on the ground. And they're it's, adorable. They're so cute. And I think any opportunity to kind of pick up a little baby and think you're trying to help is great. Um, but we get over 350 baby hairs every summer, and at least 60% of them didn't need to come to us. So try not to kidnap babies. Give us a call <laughs> first, and we'll let you know whether it's something that needs intervention. So what happens when you pick up a baby hair? Well, they tend it's to freeze. Scent transfer, is that a problem? Well, I mean, you will make your hair smell a little bit like humans, which they wouldn't normally, but that's not something where the mom is going to reject their baby. She's, she's a fickle mom, but she's not that fickle. It takes a little more than that for her to give her babies away. So you don't need to worry too much about that. It's a bit of a myth. It's kind of nice because it keeps people from manhandling wildlife, but... Right. But don't worry, just because you touch it doesn't mean mom won't love it. Okay, so you can still put it down. Absolutely. And it will still be safe. And if it, you find it in an area where it looks unsafe, so something under a car, in a playground, you can always pick up that little hair and move it to somewhere that's a little more safe within 150 meters of where you found it. Okay, so there, there are the rules. Yeah. And when are we going to start to see these little well, babes. They're already happening right now. So we've gotten a few calls about baby hairs around town. Um, mom's having babies as soon as the photo period gets a little bit longer. So that's when we have more daylight hours. So despite the fact that we don't think it's spring, no. she knows it is. So those babies are dropping currently. So we're going to be seeing them all throughout the summer. Okay, and you were saying that 60% of those mm -hmm. you don't need to yeah, house. And so that's an additional babies. cost for you. It is, and we're, I mean, we're always thrilled to take care of them. It's not an issue of that. We just don't want to be kidnapping babies that don't need help. And they do a lot better with mom. I would like to pretend that we're the miracle workers with hairs. Right. Um, but mom's got the special skills, and we want to make sure that they get the best life that they can. And yes. that's not necessarily with us. Okay, and that they're in their natural habitat. Yeah. Okay, and then on top of that, you have some something fun that's coming up, staying with yes. the baby theme. Tell us about this baby shower. Absolutely. On April 14th, which is a Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., we have our first annual wildlife baby shower. It's happening at the Bow Habitat Station, and we'll have all sorts of fun family activities, face painting, our touch tables, our... Uh, Animal ambassadors will be there, so our owl and our hawk. Uh, it'll be a really fun day for everyone, and it's it's really trying to get a bunch of stuff that you have in your house you might not need anymore that we might be able to use, a lot of baby blankets, bottles, all sorts of things like that. So okay. you can always go to our website and check out our wish list. So there's a, a high-demand list of things that the yes, babies need? Yes, absolutely. And now, you know, we're coming into that season. This is our busiest time of year, and we're just going to be overrun with babies. So things as simple as paper towels or cloth diapers, things that, you know, people might not realize wildlife need, we definitely would love to get our hands on. So if you're doing spring cleaning, come on out. Okay, nice. And that is not a ticketed event. That's just admission. Will that be a fundraiser yep. for the society? Yeah, so we are accepting donations and we will probably have a raffle. We'll have all sorts of things set up. Um, but Bow Habitat Station will be charging a minimal fee of $5 entry. Um, but there are also activities outside as well, so you don't have to actually go into the station to participate. Okay. And we hope that the snow is melted by then. Fingers crossed. Fingers We're crossed. We're hoping for a spring, beautiful spring day, but we'll take whatever we can get. That would be nice. So that's on April the 14th. Yeah. from 10 until 2 at yeah. the Bow Habitat Station. Yeah. You can go and show your support of fun family activity. Thank you so much. Great information. Thanks as always. for having me. We'll take a break.